Badenord is still a year or two away from a final investment decision. But when and if that day comes, a new player will be at the table with considerable influence. British oil giant BP. In a deal announced this morning, BP says it will sell its 50% stake in the Sunrise Oil Sands project in Alberta to Calgary-based Synovus for $600 million in cash, plus hundreds of millions more in contingent payments linked to the price of oil over the next few years. BP will also acquire Synovus's 35% stake in Bay du Nord, a massive, undeveloped series of oil discoveries in the Flemish Pass. This project received federal environmental approval in April and, if sanctioned, could be producing as much as 200,000 barrels per day by the end of this decade. It's very, very big news. This oil analyst says the deal is part of a trend. International companies are exiting the oil sands. Mostly because of kind of political and image concerns around the higher upstream emissions intensity associated with uh, oil sands production. And being drawn to projects like Bay du Nord, which is being billed as the lowest emitting oil project in Canada. That's key in an era where both investors and the global economy seek to reduce emissions in the battle against climate change. BP also gave up its significant holdings in Russia after it invaded Ukraine. They're very much looking to figure out a way to kind of pivot their production, uh, their future kind of oil production strategy away from Russia and towards literally anywhere else on the planet. You see companies now building more competitive and resilient uh, positions in their portfolios and uh, we're benefiting from that. This oil executive says it's a good sign for Bay du Nord and the broader offshore sector. And I think it's um, an endorsement of, of what again we have to offer and that with companies like BP uh, you know radically going through transformations uh, much like all the major oil and gas companies for them to take this position and in a growth mode I, I think that is a great news for us. BP recently opened an office in St. John's and has plans to undertake an exploration campaign in the Orphan Basin next year. This, this could be you know, the start of, of, you know, the you know, Newfoundland and Labrador's offshore being a core area of focus for BP. But while industry boosters celebrate, environmental groups like the Sierra Club are irate, issuing a reminder today that BP was responsible for the Deepwater Horizon disaster in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010, and that conditions in the North Atlantic are even more dangerous, with very little chance of cleaning up an oil spill. A spokesperson for the group said today that BP's participation in Beta Nord makes the Sierra Club Canada Foundation even more determined to oppose this risky project. Analysts like Roy Johnston believe that having two offshore specialists like BP and Equinor walking lockstep in the Flemish Pass could kickstart a new phase of deep water production. One he says could be more exciting than the shallow water production we've been seeing in the Jean d'Arc Basin. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.